you know they was high because the song. Listen, One Nation Under One Groove is 15 minutes and 41 seconds. Don't quote me, but I'm almost that positive. It, they told you in the beginning it is a groove. I mean, <laughs> most of right, and and most of those songs back in the day were honestly just like jam bands. Yeah, yeah. Like we f- we feel this vibe. We're just gonna fucking ride with it at this point. Like we're just gonna go. I mean, I don't think any of that shit was scripted, unless they're like. Wow, I absolutely love that riff. Most of it was just off the top when they were in the studio. Yeah, I'm sure there was a loose playlist when they went up on stage, but nothing concrete. <laughs> I mean, you have your hits, but obviously oh, yeah. when like you introduce the band and stuff, that's when they like break down into solos and blah 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 and Jesus. I can only imagine being in the audience when Bootsy was walking all over the place <laughs> all on the bass. Up. Yeah. Imagine being in that band. You just jamming. Here come your man. He ass nigga. He was dressed before the concert started. <laughs> you know it was a good ass concert, even though they're old as fuck. ACDC. That was a that was a good concert. I mean, you tell me about that. Because Angus Young still had the same fucking energy as he did when he was twenty, when he was up there, and he wasn't on any type of drugs and running all over the place and playing his guitar. Like it was so fucking good. I'm just so shocked that he's made it so long with nobody asking legitimate questions about the. Schoolboy uniform thing. I mean, if he wants to wear his kinks on his shoulder and shit like that, he can do whatever he wants. But do you know who's better? Flea and the rest of them wear Led socks Zeppelin on their and P. Dicks, Diddy. But three, no, two, <laughs> one. Come with me. Back Super Smash Productions. You have Crash. You got Doovy. You got Mac. And we have a special guest tonight. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'll go by MDMA. That's my demons, my angels. Welcome. It's good to have you tonight. We're a long time friend here, man. My boy. Welcome, here. welcome. MDMA. I know him as Mo. Yes, and uh, he's I said, can I call you by your real name or do I have you to call, can call you by, you your... by Mo? All right. Uh, you know. <laughs> Just want to double check. <laughs> if you didn't know. Yeah. We used yeah. to, we used it would to, be awkward if we you called just, him the wrong. We were just talking before the show. Sean never had the pleasure, but I, so I was telling him earlier. Mo was like the fourth person this week to tell me about my mom's fried chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, so shout yeah, out yeah. to Mom Deuce. Appreciate you Legendary. sharing love. They're chicken. absolutely fantastic. Super good, bro. This is this is different. It's like one of those would be like you go home and like mom like. You know, like, it, it's kind of, it, when you think of it, when you're an adult and look back, it's like, that. I was kind of insulting, but I had to go home and tell my mom, like, you know what I mean? Like, somebody else's food was better. Like, and it was like, <laughs> um, yeah. So how was the dinner? Yo. Wait till I tell you what you've been doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, my issue was my mom made white people food, so oh, it's like under, under-seasoned, like, Sean's food. Yeah. So it was like, you know, she really didn't know how to Where do you think it. I learned it? I learned it from my mama. I thought you were going to say you learned it from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys had that experience. That's like not on the list of go. the things that I've learned. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Never mind. What would you say? I said you guys had that experience like everywhere you go then. Yeah. Like as soon as you leave house, it's like, I taste something. Like, yeah. Nah, see, I make great food. He now, figured yeah. it out. Oh no, I, I've I've made great yeah. food for a while. I can cook. definitely cook. Yeah. Now, do you? When I you cook. Are you? Are you? 
or like a steak, what, you steak guy, like you like beef it or you like or like is that your oh, I eat it all. Do you are you well done or are you like <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Blasphemous. Medium or medium well, my brother. Medium. Oh gosh. Medium you, rare. Well I'm medium or medium well. Well, right? Medium well. Me he said medium. And what's the first medium? Just just medium is pink throughout. Yeah. No sir. Slightly pink throughout. It's there's it's not even blood. It's not blood. Get the fuck out! Yeah. I said the it. same thing, bro. I would, I would. It's not fucking. Blood. Trust me, if if I, I'm, my steaks are fucking. I can't a1. eat fucking If I made you a steak, bro. a medium, you fuck that shit up. No, I wouldn't. I'm telling you, I wouldn't. You wouldn't even know it was. You wouldn't even know. I would know. Uh, I well, once you cut it open, you're gonna see it. Yeah. I mean, I the, chop open my burgers. I chop open no, because I will not be. Surprised. If I make you a medium, well, not well done. You'll fuck with it. Even like chicken wings. You guys eat fried chicken or whatever. Like, I, I like, like extra crispy. No big chicken wings. Nah, no. I don't do them steroid <laughs> Brock Lesnar <laughs> ass chicken wings. That I also can't bag. do them tiny ass ones that like you nah. feel like you're going to bite your finger weird. off instead. Yeah. It depends on how small. Like, Nine dollars for a six piece of some fries and them wings is <laughs> yeah, those aren't <laughs> bad wings. Them Domino's wings. Yeah, like get those the fuck are, out of here. Those are mice. Right. Yes. Yeah. They done ran out of wings. Yes. They ain't gonna know. Yo, picky so. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they just shoulder shrugging. Is that mice? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm getting ten fifty an hour. <laughs> you gonna eat whatever the fuck I got in this bag. Yeah. Yeah, I got a story for you guys. So I always I, I always end up talking about shit or something. So You got a shit? Oh my god. So I thought you forgot what you were gonna talk about. <laughs> So when I'm taking a shit, right, it's in the laundry room, and the dryer. That's on, weird. Right? Well, not really. There's a toilet it's, in there. Oh, okay. There. Then you, should. <laughs> you just got a litter box. That's what you thought. <laughs> no, so, I just thought he's shitting on the floor in the laundry room. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is this has happened to me on more occasions than I can account. So I'll be sitting there shitting, scrolling through my phone, you know, taking the 15, 20 minutes that you know you're regulated. To where you forget you're there, and you're like, oh, I'm done. And your leg starts going numb. <laughs> yeah. Static. So, <coughs> the dryer's running, and when it goes off, it does the Meh. So, more times than I can fucking count, I'm sitting there scrolling, blah, 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 and that dryer timer goes off, and it scares more shit out of me every time. Nice. Every, like, nice. literally... Sometimes, yeah. Oh, man. Because I'll be sitting there, and it'll go off, and I'm like, oh, my God! <laughs> or, or, like, you got to be fucking kidding me. And all I hear is just Samantha laughing in the other room because <laughs> she knows that I, like, I legitimately, get, I legitimately get scared. Can't you turn it off? And sometimes it'll be on, like, 50 minutes left. Sometimes it's on two. No, like, you can turn your buzzer off. Yeah, I'm saying, can't you turn that off on the nah, dryer? Nah, bro, it's an old-ass dryer. Oh. oh. But listen, that thing's got that thing's got miles on it yeah. still. So yeah. that's the worst noise ever. When Shit it is like a off. Nissan uh, a Skyline. <laughs> the ever loving fucking Try the motherfuckers shit out 400 of miles. That shit getting you to Jersey and back. Terrible. Yeah, dude, gets it me still every spins. time. A good shit is is always necessary. I don't think your day or night can go right without a good shit. Yeah, it's just oh. this. It the exit is so much. Important is the intake. You know what I mean? That you eat, you worry about your food every day, but you have to be able to like enjoy your shit every day. Yeah. If you hang on I all mean, your I don't negative really thoughts, you have a bad day. I shit so if you too hang on often, to all that. so it's like I don't really enjoy it. What's too often? What? Bro, I got bad stomach stuff, bro. Sometimes I'll shit like five, six times a day. That's right. wild. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's, that's not that's wild. So that's actually okay. How many Regular times do you is eat? three times. Normal, like three meals. And then no. snacking, right? Not necessarily. No, Three I just I just have really bad stomach enough. issues. They say you should at least be pooping or shitting or whatever you want to say. The, but the it same ain't, amount of times you eat. It's not healthy shits though. It's not solid. It's not. You got to take some probiotics, <laughs> bro. You don't need to go I into have, adjectives. On I have this done shit. so many things to try and fix every it. every remedy. The bromelain. All right. You know what that is? You buy nah. it. It's a it's a it's an extract that's in pine. Basically, it's like pineapple. But you, you take it, they come in like 500 milligrams, and it's all about gut health. Like, I, I have problems, too, with my stomach, too. But I, I got IBS. Again, I, I don't know. I don't have anything that I went to the doctor for. I just know my body, and my body says, uh, um, My body says you, know, you got some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This ain't right all the time. So, <laughs> you got IBS? Me, too, if that's what you call it. Yeah. Great. You know what I mean? Lots of shits. But I enjoy my shits. Not all the time. Sometimes, like, no, but most of the time, it's like very great very shits. Good. 
Very, very, very great shit. As long as I have a comic book on my phone, it's yeah. usually a good time. You know right. what I mean? You remember, like, back in the Reddit. day where you only had, like, the back of the shampoo bottle or the back of the lotion? No. Or you whatever. know what I always <laughs> read in the bathroom? The and they don't even make them anymore? No, nah, I was quicker in the, the bathroom. The manual for video games. Those cheap motherfuckers Game don't even make... No, fuck oh, no, yeah, not yeah. those. The manual that came with the game. Oh, you don't yeah. even need that anymore. Just download it. But I mean, well, the yeah, empathy. Yeah, there's no. There's I mean, it's also it, like fifty. So no, I'm, I'm just saying now it's like yeah, it's just gone. It's just the closer gone. I get to fifty, the less I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep adding up. <laughs> now I used to read Double XL magazine. I used to always get an issue. Dude, the honest. Nintendo 64 gamer manuals were extensive. There were parts. There were stories and extensive character descriptions and stuff like that. I never read the manuals enough, and I just raw dogged the game. Yes, I read a lot Why? with like the I read <laughs> a lot with read like the manual. SNES, like especially like really? fighting games, like the turtle like fighting games. It told you how to like do the moves. And Some stuff. of the Zelda game, like the, the manuals, were like 60, no. 70 pages long. If you didn't read it, you really didn't understand some of the stuff. No, that's wild. You just play. I don't just need homework. I was video. also at some points too young to read homework. the manuals and thoroughly play. understand them. So yes, I, I don't know. Now, what I use the manual for is if I have to put, like, a table or some weird furniture together, I'm not about to just man it. Because no, every, no, time, I I man it, I can't every time I man shit. it, every time I man it, it looks like, right, right? And then you get this one piece. You got extra screws right? or you something. You got two screws and this one piece. And then you look. That was the first piece you were supposed to put on. And in order to put everything on, you got to undo. I'm not doing this. I'm going to look at the directions. Oh, I'll yeah. go one by Every two fucking by time. three. It's not going to be one screw missing. And then the whole thing is like. That was me putting a file in the cabinet together at work. <laughs> they was like, you can take that shit home put it together. So I was like, cool. So I took that shit home. And then I knew it was a dub. When the, the, main... only, <clears throat> the only tool I needed was an L wrench. When they hit you with that. <laughs> You know you get you setting up a failure. If Were I, there words <laughs> in the manual? There was, or and just the pictures and shit. So because most of them just pe- pictures now. The shit was five pages, but it was pictures. Can but you it was, not understand pictures? Well, it's nah, like Lego like instructions. Whatever happened to put this to this? Now it's like Legos. Yeah, he's right. I don't like that picture shit. It just no. be arrows and pictures. Like okay, it's supposed to yeah. look like that. The next step, but and it you got to use the board with the right letter in this. Yeah. But the fucking stickers peeled off because the humidity yeah. in the warehouse was all, like. <laughs> so now I don't know what's going on. This board is this much longer than the other one, and I'm supposed to tell the difference? Right. That happens especially when you go on Amazon, right? Yes. And you go to buy a product, See? and they'd be like, hmm, should I get the used one? Or should I get the one that's like a little bit cheaper than what they're showing it? It says very good. Click, boom. Bro, it's they don't open good. that. They get it from <laughs> somebody out. else. They'd be like, somebody send it back. This is completely mm-hmm. broken. It burned my house down. And they'll send it back. I'll be like, good. And they'll send it to you. And then you'll get it back, and it'll smell like fire and smoke from their house and everything. And it'll be like... <laughs> A roach crawl. A roach crawl. Yeah, all their hot, like, there'll still be food in it. And it's like a food thing. Like, do not, I tell you, do not get used products from Amazon. They are too busy to check that. Go new. All It's like in and out. Bing, bong, bong, bong. This is... I don't think I've ever been offered a used object on Amazon. Though. All the time. Well, you're not going to order. You want to buy like food. food. I don't buy like food. Like I'll order new stuff. Water or anything. Really? A used water. We got water. We got slightly used. I've ordered new stuff and they give me used stuff anyway. Yep. That happens too. And then I have to take it to the UPS store and they send That's it back. And you know they do it at Kohl's too? Yeah, I go to Kohl's. Shit out of Kohl's. I go to Kohl's. Oh, they do it there too. I've mm-hmm. Amazon. I've never. I might go Kohl's. there from now. The, Yo, the guy at the so, UPS store is kind Yo, of a dick. Kohl's is a come up, bro. When you, it's what. Listen, I, I didn't. That's an you, old man. You thirty just now, so you right? Know that. You just turned thirty. Yeah. Go there. I know. You gonna feel peace. No. When you get older, you realize, and then they got coal bucks and stuff no. like that. Yeah, them coal, coal, coal cash. It's like, coal cash. Coal cash. I, I'm sorry. I sorry. Disagree. Now, look, I would, before I do that, make my own clothes or something and just make them bland and plain. <laughs> no, they got, like, no, they got, no, no, they got no. shit there. I would wear clothes. Amazon basics before I, I can't. Kohl's is like, all right. Oh, my gosh. Why okay, see, maybe, all right, look, <laughs> I feel like, Kohl's? all There's right, it, it, it's, if you, I don't know, if you dress, then you dress and you understand. And you can get regular Nikes, and then you can get the Coles Nikes. Uh, like I'm not buying sneakers at Coles. No, 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 no. They make everything, like you said, for like middle age. Crackers. White people? Whoa. <laughs> no. Honkies. I'm talking about biscuits. Oh. Thin, crisp biscuits. Yeah. White folks. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an adulterated show. A it's thousand cool. percent. It's a white store without a shadow. Of a yes, it's mostly. Yeah. They oh have God, yeah. chaps there, not Polo or Ralph Lauren. They have they have two guys on one horse. Yeah. You cannot. When I came to school yeah. with that, but when they, they, you know how they would clown you. You got to see. Yeah. Are you saying Coles is like he, the Kmart back in the day? 
Cole's See? is Kmart. Yes. You know what? I'm but you haven't hit stuff. the age where Kmart's cool yet. You're going to hit an age where it's like, yo, why no, wasn't I doing this I shit got all, all the, along? I have a lot of clothes, so I'll just wear my clothes. I'll, be, I'll get tired of buying them. How I'll old just are keep you? What, what about home? What about, what about home? Home no, wear you, shit. Like you home, got a little bit to go. Home wear? Like, like just like shit from Most the crib. Most of my outfits from JC. I, I don't plan on dressing in the house. I no, 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 no. Not like There's just shit sale. for the house. Can't just walk around in a robe? No, shit for the house. Yes. Like my shit, robe. No, things for the house. Like tables, lamps, shit like that. You can get that shit there. And it's oh, like, no, you can't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. I get it off Amazon. Yeah, you, can. you can order online. You tables. You get yeah. everything. You can get you that. Really can. You can get that from anywhere, though. Yeah, I used to work at Kohl's. Wayfair. Wayfair. Amazon. Wayfair's a little shit. Wayfair shaky. sold children. Yeah, they did. Oh, gosh. Jeez. I liked working at Kohl's until they fired me Kohl's, without telling Kohl's me. Kohl's did, too. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know if they did. But if I say it, it kind of sounds true. It's not like. What it sounds happened? more convincing with Wayfair. Cole's kids? <laughs> yes. Cole's kid. They sold kids' clothes. Half off. Kids for Cole's cash. The alliteration Damn. is out of this world in this conversation right now. It's the Cole's slam. The Cole's, if y'all watching, I need a, I need a sponsorship. Yeah. I'd take one, but Let me get that I Cole's would have cash, to. Right? Nah, I couldn't. Yeah, I'd have to change everything. Yeah, I would we take, will I put would... your name all over our shit up for our weight in Cole's cash. Hmm. You don't know about Cole's cash. Don't speak for me. I need, I need some bread. Get these guys some Cole's cash. They need it. <laughs> you can give them mine. <laughs> there we go. There we go. If so you if guys you listen, are gonna right. offer me Coles, I would did gladly make sure these See, guys like, did. They deserve it. You can I get will... the coolest luggage with a handle and wheels on it. No, I'll I would gladly know. wear no. Walmart brand like no. fucking Coles, JC Penny. No. Like I wear, I, I wear, don't give a I don't fuck care about what I look like. It's just the zero. I don't like the cut of the clothes. They don't cut the clothes right. They cut okay. it to where you're like, that's a that's you a, can, that's a fair point. It's there not what they're okay. selling because you can buy the same thing at Macy's. That makes sense. That's then. true. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's the, the the same thing at Macy's and the same thing at Coles is not made the same. It does not like it doesn't. They don't have the right polos there. They have the ones like you don't wear. Like they don't have the right chaps. They have the, the what are those chaps? And they have it's like. You know Coles is like he's definitely not wrong because stuff like the pants they don't the waist isn't right because they don't the waistline is no. in a legs different are place. Mad wide like yeah you, you want like a straight legs. you want a straight fit and that shit baggy. You yeah. ever had your grandma or like an older aunt or something do your waistline and they do the fucking thing and they, it's all the way up by your belly button? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. how they do it in those stores. So when you buy those pants, that's how the pants are designed they're baggy to be. Baggy and they're wide leg. Yeah, it's like but why if you the dress fuck? like that? It'll fit your look. Yeah. You know what I'm look so if you're a middle-aged man and, and so you're Sometimes cool. young men dress like that. Middle-aged child. white man. I don't wear old man no, pants. No, because I give it like this. Look, that's where that's what they <laughs> branded it for then. Sure. Nowadays, these kids wear every style. Like, they'll come out looking like anything. So there's not... I Me saying that People is People aren't really afraid to express me, themselves oh, through their clothes. I saw today for the first time ever in the wild? I saw a Spanish person sure. dressed in affliction... With the spiked up hair, tribal tattoos, plugs. In. I've never seen that in my life in the wild. No, no. I Only in captivity. Surprised. And he was a douchebag, <laughs> like a grade A douchebag. He tried to pull in front of me in the front of the. In the, uh, I was at Valvoline getting my oil change, like waiting in the line, and this motherfucker pulled in front of me. I was like, "Hey, yo, asshole." Ooh. <laughs> Move. Not Move. today. And he didn't. He like his windows down. And he ignored me. I was like, "Hey, yo!" Mm. And then the dude came out. He's like, "Oh, you gotta back up." And this dude gave me the look like he was gonna fuck me up. This dude looked like he had a Napoleon <laughs> complex, like five foot nothing in this big ass Range Rover with affliction with an affliction shirt, tribal tattoos. What's no, affliction? Down, Why don't it, I know what that it was is? 2009. The, the peasy ass chin strap Aww. with like the Gomez fucking muscle, like bro. I thought it was only a white person thing. No. No. no that's I've, what I'm saying. Nowadays, everything's an any person thing. I've, that's I saw, that's look, what I'm saying. I, that's the first I, one I saw in the wild. I've been in a group text with my buddies <laughs> for like the last 12 years. Oh, it's ridiculous. Balls. Like That's how long we had the same phone number. We're not on... We're not... There's a group text between regular phones. Right. Not on the internet. Right. And I think just the recent we had the other day, and I, I was outside, and I was like, bro, I just saw a Mexican with dreads. <laughs> It threw me the fuck off. It was like it was. He was completely Mexican. It was Mexican thing, but he had dreads. You know what was funny? It yeah. was like what? What's your favorite stereotypes? Yo, right now, <laughs> give me some, give the me funny, some good ones. the funniest one right now is the college white boys that be with the hoochie That's... daddies with the long ass tube socks. They <laughs> right? were all over the fair. Everywhere I walked, they was getting higher. The shirt thinking their dad, higher. thinking their dad owns a yacht yeah, or something. Yeah, the sh- yeah. It was like a Ralph Lauren hat, pink sweater, hoochie daddy shorts, high ass tube socks. And whatever the fuck on their feet. Some and, slides. And it was like, I seen like 40 of them. I'm like, yo, what are y'all doing? I don't endorse that behavior at We're all. We're going to go to my dad's yacht after this. Yeah. 
No. We're going to do cocaine bumps in the bathroom. T-shirt. Oh, God. Pants or no, shorts. No, on, on the mirrors with a little bit of rock on Right. It. No. If you're at the fair. Okay, being, being somewhere where people do a lot of drugs, I just experienced because I've been to festivals this year, like for the first time. I've never festivals been to are one. fun. I've, I've been to like a blues now, festival. Those are a great time. I, I haven't been to like an EDM where? show. The people that work uh, fairs Briggs are Farm. usually on a lot of Briggs drugs. Briggs Farm Blues Festival. Whether it's like the Fucking Bloomsburg Fair, Fantastic. Renaissance. Is it overnight? There are a lot of drugs. Is, there, is it overnight or just a day? Uh, it's a three month. This one's a three day. Yeah, like that. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Now, do you camp there or do mm-hmm. you keep coming back? People camp. The camp ones. Yeah. That's the but one the I know. Too. You gotta yeah. go to Briggs Farm. Never been to one, bro. Never been to. Clarence Spady played the double. He played like the double head guitar. Fucking, I was I was blissed out of my face, and I lost my mind to that set list, dude. Is that country music? Clarence Spady is a blues artist. Okay, I was just thinking. <clears throat> In the woods, like already yeah. with the EDM was cool because you know EDM Clarence is kind of like a black dude with dreads. Me- cool, gosh, there you go. So we won't be the only ones out there. <laughs> no, it was a great fucking time. It was a, a solid mix of people. Like Briggs Farm, like there's zero judgment. Like there it's you go. So, so it's just like many, it's just like the festivals. It's that's what, it is judgment. a festival. It's okay, a blues cool, cool, festival. Cool. It's just different music. Yeah. It's not it's yeah. the same it's, type it's of not, goers, It's not like electric. It's not the just different music. Not the boops yeah. and beeps, but it's more of the. More chill vibe. More blues yeah. music. Yeah. I got you, I got you. People just want to have a good time for Oops. three days. See, I've only been to EDM festivals. <laughs> Two EDM festivals. How is that? They're great. Those are EDM the, festivals. The first one Oops I've been beats, to. Bro. That EDM one festivals are weird. wild. I can't, was the best I can't melt face and listen to My first to one was the best one. Shit. Like, what, yeah. what was the first one that you Only unless to? they put on like... Dreamscape. The rude sounds. I mean, the women walking around not wearing anything is one thing, but then I got to listen to that shit all day. What, EDM? Yeah, I don't want to listen to that. Dream, wait a minute. So what the fuck? Well, that's why you get a, um, a lot of people sweating if, if and stinking. You do it, in one if you do group. it, you have to get one where they let you camp away from the music. That's it. I guess. And as simple as that. But you get a break. A lot of but like we're talking, there's so many festivals and stuff too. that you can do all this stuff. You just find the music that you want to listen to. Exactly. And you just go to that one. Right. Pick and choose. I mean, that's yeah. kind of why I miss. It like, all depends on like the women. The women at and, like, the ones I want to go to aren't as fine as the ones. I wasn't there for the music. I'm a little hairier. I'm not gonna hold you. I didn't go for the music. <laughs> well, let's see. I went there to go to do. See? Uh, yeah. I'm going so, to go do drugs. Exactly. Let's just keep it <laughs> Extracurriculars. I've never been in my entire existence. Listen, it's about, life. it's about Listen, the experience ben overall. Had a party. Listen, been at a party that was thrown with a thousand drugs, a thousand people doing everything, and the cops can't stop it. What? <sighs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bro, I, how I don't know. Listen, I they don't know, know how, how many people manage, there are to get past know, that Molly water do, and you drink too no, much. No, how do they manage to have these big parties? Right, we can't even have like a barbecue with like too many people leaking out on the street, too many people parking without the cops call. How do you get a hundred thousand people in the woods screaming all day and night? Because I was thinking about like when we leave, like there's regular houses outside of this shit. People yeah. live here and like, they be complaining. Like you mad for three days straight? Just fat boy slim for two hours straight. What the fuck? Like, bro. I'm, a, I'm sure that the homeowners association is pissed off for months after that shit happens, but the cops can't do anything. Yeah, they can't. There's come. a thousand why? people and five cops. My point is, why can't they? Because and the security they, guards are melting face too. So the cops ain't. Not, I'm not saying them. Who's who's running the show? Right. That that they can control that land and say that because they know what's somebody happening. with a lot of money. You're pulling somebody over on the outside and leaving. With drugs, it happens all the time because sometimes they wait outside them bitches and they'll be like, "Oh, we're pulling random well, th- people over." That's that's normal pedestrian uh, stupidity though because people really don't be reading them tickets. You're not; they're not liable for none of that shit. That you, if you buy a purchase a ticket, you came there to listen to the music. Now, if you decide to come there with like 300 tabs of acid and all that that's shit, a you that's on problem. you, and that's why they, they people don't read the tickets. They just no, show. No, I'm not saying that they're promoting you bring drugs. No, I know that. that. I'm saying how they are still allowed to to do knowing that that still happens. Like that's what I'm saying. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. The knowledge of it, right? Like, all right, let's give it. They made a big heap about Travis Scott when when everything happened there, right? But they've been running festivals like this where people like uh, I was watching on Netflix the other day when. What's that, 99? The second Woodstock. The second yeah, Woodstock. Right, 99. Oh, people dying, getting ripped all over the place. Ah, uh, oh Colin. Like, but, but he really? got bleeped. You got bleeped. Oh, you got gosh. bleeped. The R word is a hard word. They we don't use like every it. other word. So Sexual people assault. Dying, you can and people use, being assaulted. There's, just, there's just three R's that you can't use. And one word, one of them starts with one, and one of them ends with one. Oh. <laughs> not that that's ever been said on the show. Well, not hard R. Not hard R. I looked for Freddie Collins. I was like, no. But even <laughs> the on. other one, you said one to thin Chris Biscuit. 
Oh, you can say cracker all no, you want. I want to say cracker. That's double standard. Oh, hey, you yeah. guys gotta stand up for yourself. Hey, I take it. Hey, you can't say White. ours. You say yours. So listen here. White privilege. Bleep bleep bleep. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing about it is, I'm it's not. Money a... is the answer to his question, though, to what he's saying. I mean, they get away like... with it because somebody's paying. Yeah. As that's long as somebody's it, paying. Insane. My thing is like, I'm not offended by any of the slurs that are supposedly directed towards white people. Because they're not offensive. That's what I'm saying. They're corny. Right. You guys have Come up worse, with a good one, guys. There is no good one. Come up with a good one. you guys made the language. Redneck, honky, cracker. One of the I'm ones that I hate the most is white probably, bread. Look, I love white we bread. We didn't even really listen, make a language. Pretty, we just stole bits and pieces no, from no, other no. languages. This is oh, your language. No. So, listen, let me get it. Stole, we stole Latin. There, there's stole, probably is know, terrible that's why words. Our language is the hardest language to learn on the planet because we suck. Yeah. But there probably is terrible words that would offend you had you grown up in their society in another country that they call you. Our society and our language, there's no really held word besides you guys offend each other more than anything. Yeah. Like white people, you saying the other one doesn't have any money is like calling an N word. You, oh, you, oh gosh. gosh, you, you said I grew up poor and that that's enough to get one round. All right, Karen. The, like, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the people that are around the words being said are the ones that give the power to the words. It's never really anything about the word. It's the person, whoever's it's, taking it. Yeah, you can always, say it, take it, and it's like... Because Karen has become more of a... You could I'd call, much rather say cunt than Karen. Yeah, Karen is Bitch, a stop loose. being a cunt. See, like, you could call a woman a cracker or a Karen, and she'd freak out over Karen over cracker. But cracker's supposed to be a hard... Nowadays, they're wild. See, that's what call, I mean. If you call them Karen, they're wild out. Exactly. But I'd much rather a call somebody a cunt I got a, over a Karen. I got a Karen story, all right? And it's not about somebody did anything, because I got a thousand of those. Uh, Obviously, everybody got Karen story. Who doesn't? So, my kids are biracial. Right, <clears throat> so they're they, gonna have the they, best of both worlds. Yeah, you know they they're the, worst, like the best Montana. of the worst. So you know some days you know, whatever they 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 figure this out when they were young that they're not white uh, by school. I don't teach them this shit. Life does. So they go there. And they do, my daughter's like, I'm white, and the girl's like, No, you're not. This is white. You're mm. that. And then you know, <laughs> and then little by years later, the funniest thing ever. She's on the bus. A little kid goes. Uh, he's a black kid, and he goes, You can't say the whole n word. You can only say half of it. Cause you're half. But when she came home and told me that I was trying to do straight face, <laughs> it's like, I really got what? me. Yeah. Got me. You can only say half. Which she, half? Only I know half. it doesn't matter, but I'm just so focused. It's, I on figure she say the what first half? half the day, she can't say the other half till tomorrow, and then not with the other. Like you know, you get like one half a day. You know what I mean? Or just you know, I don't know. It's hilarious. She it's gets off the it. bus, starting but, to say it. When she gets on it, she finishes it. So the half, the, her mother's, you know, they're, all, they're they're white, and then our family's this. So she goes on that side of the family. They hear this Karen stuff because you know they got phones and everything like that. And then um, I'm talking to my daughter. Her aunt calls her, and I see in her phone it says Karen. I'm like, who's Karen? She mm. said, Oh, that's my aunt. And I'm like, the Why real? do you have her name is Karen? She was like, Because she's a Karen. <laughs> Ooh. And I was like, whoa. I'm like, because you know what I mean? Like, I got to be, I gotta be a little bit race sensitive. Like Auntie Cunt. Towards, like, Auntie listen, Cunt at is the end calling. of the day, yes, you look dark or whatever in your mix, but you're still white. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you are, I'm not going to take your blackness from you, but you are white. Like, you are being offensive to, your mama's white. Your grandmother's white. Like, you can't be racist. Like, here, this wouldn't make, <laughs> this wouldn't even fit There's a line you. that right. is drawn. Like, right. oh, the, the more than half of your family is white. If there's one person right here who can't be on both sides of the fence right now, it's you. Like, it's you. You, got, yeah. you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be, ride the line. You gotta <laughs> love it. Like, you gotta, you gotta play politics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be doing that shit. Right. Like, you gotta, so, I'm telling her this. Boom. So now, I, I have... And the kids, I have six kids. So in the time, I have one in the front and three in the back. I don't have all of them with me because I, I think at this time I didn't have, I only have four. So three of them in the back. Um, these three are school age, boom. Um, but one of them is, she's just a sponge, says nothing, then says everything at the wrong time. <laughs> so she's, I'm talking to the oldest one because she is like a four-year span on them. These other three are like close in age, they're younger. And I'm telling her the whole story about, you know, Karen's bad. Don't say that because you're basically making her feel like a racist. Like, if she's not a racist and you just deem someone as a racist, it's like you just put in this cloud on them. I mean, and, Karen and doesn't always have to be racist, It doesn't. Though. It's still not the point. It's, it's literally just like about a, being a cunt. You say that. But to somebody, when they first it's hear it. It's mostly white people. It's mostly though. white women. It's mostly white women. And With you call them the cops right. and you're racist. Right. All the one, it kind of falls in the board. So I'm like, don't use that. So I'm telling her, don't, don't, don't. It's bad, bad, bad. Don't, don't, don't. Remember, never said anything was good. Don't ever use that. And I was even explaining, like, you're saying that. So, like, uh, people could be a Karen, like, you know what I mean? There's a white woman, right? So I, then I think I named who could be one. Not saying that they are. I'm like, so yeah. like you're saying, like, you're calling your mom the Karen. Like, that's right. Or, like, you're, you know what I mean? The white, I named her. 
My daughter's in the back. She takes pieces of this conversation and goes like, oh, no. I got it. Brain man. <laughs> <No. laughs> she's like, I got, I got it. the gist of it. I got this. <laughs> she's like four or five. No, she's no, she's five at the time. Uh-oh. She goes to daycare, and I guess they're annoying her. Oh, no. Right? And all the teachers are white. She goes, <laughs> you're a Karen. Uh, they get a little riled up. She's like, why'd you call me that? Well, you are a Karen. You're a Karen, you're a Karen, and you're a Karen. <laughs> Damn. My dad says, my mom's a Karen, my grandma's a Karen. <laughs> you're all, <laughs> you're you're Karen. all fucking you're, Karen. You're, Karen. you're cool. You're a Karen. You're a Karen. You're cool. You're cool. You're <laughs> fuck Karen. you. Fuck you. You're cool. Because <laughs> they wasn't letting her have her way. They got her upset. Put the every on person. Blast. <laughs> and I told her to say it. Like, I told her to go to school and call. <laughs> I never said that. I wasn't even speaking to you, but I... I See, love it. It was terrible. When the kids say that my dad or my mom said, well, I was told that I could say this. Like, like no, absolutely I've not. been I've been teaching Max how to wrestle kick. So, like, how you, like, kick your leg and slap it, and, like, pretend like you kick somebody over. Like The Rock or something like yeah. that. Just a uh, fake. And you, you slap your leg at the same yeah. time. You teach him how to do a super kick? I've been teaching <laughs> him how to do that. Oh, sweet and the music. Other, yeah, and the other right. day he went up he, he went up to Dale and he's like, watch, Pop. He slaps his leg and just kicks him right in the <laughs> shit. <laughs> Like, Super kick. I got him. I got him real good this morning. Samantha thought I kicked him in the face because I slapped my leg so hard, and like the gust of my kick, his hair blew up. Does he She's know like, how to sell? Oh my it god, yet? too close. No, he doesn't know how to sell him when I do it. Oh, but I'm not. No. We're we're getting there. I'm still working on <laughs> that's the, gonna be. Fun. I'm still working on the slap and the kick at the same time because he slaps then kicks or kicks then slaps. Oh, we're still man. working on that part. Yeah, coordination. It's fun. I oh, have yeah. my how dog is, is trained three. to. Oh, he's seen her. Three. Maybe and he's. I super yeah, kick I my dog and she that early. goes back on purpose. I have her trained to sell it. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm I'm working on it. It's such a fun time. I Honestly, keep saying one of these days I have to bring my. Yo, dog wouldn't it be some shit if Max became a pro wrestler? Hmm? That'd be some shit if he became a pro wrestler. How about it, kid? Oh. How about it? I guess I'll have to start like wrestling again. Is mom not gonna? Is mom afraid of any of that stuff yet, or you haven't had those discussions? Guess what, helicopter mom. Well, if no, he I mean, wants to be in football, he's gonna be in football. That's what I was. Gonna if say. he wants to jump off cliffs, I'll let him. If he's safe. You're okay with football at the ages that they're cool with it around here. Honestly, I know it's a hot topic. Got flag leagues now for can young I, kids. Can I? Can I ask what? Yeah, you, flag what is, is what, cool. what, what, what is your concern? I, my kid Head is. Trauma? Kids are my, still yeah. fucking truck sticking. My kid's a cheerleader, so she's been cheerleading since I think she was like six. Mm-hmm. Same age boys were out on the field in full pads, full contact, railing. Yes, kid. and and they're all getting hurt like every other play because they're not. Be, well, here's the thing: they're getting hurt, but they're getting hurt by somebody of their size. If no. they didn't hold on, if they didn't have those pads, because I I had this this thing the other day where we were talking about kids. Kids are born savages. OK, they if you don't teach a child how to be like normal people, you leave a kid in another room. You have to tell them nice, be nice, be nice. No, have at not, it and I'll correct it if you do something wrong. If not, just go on, go play. Well, the idea is if you come back them and, so that if they you come know back and you got a right fistful of some kids hair. Point, some that's of us underland the savage in our kid. Yeah. Right. Some of us don't realize that they're savage. So we have to te- we sit in their whole life teaching them how to become. It's in their nature. It's like, like raising little cavemen. Pads, they're going to be doing that. You got to teach them maybe sh- not at that rate shit properly. But and they're everything. all there with the right training that when we are hitting <clears> each other like this, it's for sport. We're not out here doing this no, at as as a. I know that, but when these kids are running full speed at each other, some of these kids are. What's it's full speed when you're like three foot tall? Well, yeah, here's the thing: when your brain I've is only so how Listen, developed, and your body is only this. And yo, if, if two is out for fucking four weeks because he gets rocked by a grown ass dude, just imagine a little Who's kid getting rocked size? by the same size yeah, same of that size. person, or even bigger. Because, like I said, when Max gets into this league, he's gonna be towering over the other kids. Oh, there's character. gonna be kids that are bigger and everything. Like it that. does, but it think about character, it. but also we played, brain trauma. When we played, right? <laughs> I was just telling Wick the other day. We probably got a little CT because when we played. The drills that we were doing, they don't do the drills now. Pancakes and shit. No, like, they definitely oh, don't we, do a lot I of drills I forgot we got anymore. this on now, right? Yeah. yeah. I see you got we just you, have this story maybe here? You, maybe yeah. you have a little something, too. We just had this story here? <laughs> maybe maybe we'll give you a little you know, something. He was on the football team, and y'all squashed my helmet together. <laughs> Wig didn't remember. Wait, remember. but how old was that? How old were you then? I was Probably like 7th, 8th, or 9th grade. Those were I was 13. So I was 15. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even saying to get rid of it for the kids at all. I'm saying the kids who are like 5, 6, 7 in full pads, that's wild. I think a kid, you got to get until like eight. At what age? Flag football until eight. That's all I think. At what age is your brain 
Not until safe. you're like 21. Hold on, no, no, no. Well, at what really age until your skull is, is developed enough to protect your brain. At what age is it okay to to damage your brain? I don't know the full there extent of the answer. No age. Well, that's so. If that's the case. Don't play the sport. Even the NFL. That's what I mean. The NFL is still. You have to end the sport. I'd if rather that's the, just focus you're on going karate at it, and whatever. But you get what I mean. Well, your body's gonna be bigger when your your neck is going to be bigger when you are bigger. You see these kids' necks when they're five, six years. It's a pencil neck. Yeah, maybe that they need to make better, better. Not now. You break. gotta listen. Some I can still Bart Simpson my kid's neck. That's what I mean. <laughs> listen, when you look yeah. at these kids, you're like, yo, I can break that kid's neck. And some if one of, them, of these kids who's like, if, it, if a kid pounds, is standing the wrong way and gets hit the wrong way, you can kill one of those. It doesn't say they shouldn't play it, but at the same time, it comes with. Provision. They're they, being, they're the being, same thing can happen if they being, flag It football. comes down to the coaching. If you can teach a kid how to tackle correctly, lay a hit correctly without fucking right. your head up. That's like, different. <clears throat> Accidents are always going to happen. I was coaching yeah. for the last, like, like I said, b- even before the pandemic, I coached for two happen. years. Full contact, bitty ball league. And, like, it sucked. I was watching how the kids were tackling. I was telling a couple of them, like, yo, you ain't going to be able to wipe your ass correctly in, like, 30 years. You right. keep trying to tee off on people like that. Like, I would be honest keep with Keep your them. head up. Like, yo, keep your head up. Use your shoulders. Like, go for the hips. And like, things like mean. that. F- five years old and six years old, but they when don't we were take playing, that shit. They don't listen. It was, but when we were playing, our coaches taught us what? Fuck them up. Yeah, get sure the job did. done. By any means necessary. Now, now that it's Launch your ass at right, Now that it's going, like, a movie like The Waterboy couldn't be successful today. <laughs> Cause that, that's how motherfuckers are really getting hit back in the my day. Mama said, yeah. My mama said, it'd be nothing my but a, said, it'd be nothing but flags now. The NFL that won't show highlights from movie. certain defensive players because all they used to do is go head first. Yeah, dudes. like you can't highlight that Just shit. I feel like people. to do this though, you're gonna have to end all sports because at the end of the day, football will do it, basketball will do it. They jump up in the air, they come down, snap their leg all the way up the side. I'm just saying full Injury, contact at five. You just have to know six. what you're signing up for. Yeah, exactly. You know what you're signing up for. If you sign your child up to that, this you'd have to sign up a waiver. Okay, if not, whatever in this waiver, and something goes wrong, and then something goes wrong, maybe your kid. No, see, this is the problem. The America's too litigious. It's too much suing over anything. Everything oh, is a yeah. lawsuit. So if that wasn't Fucking the case, Karen's. it'll be a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it comes from that. It absolutely everything does. is so. Everything is too technical. right. Like if I punch you in the face right now, are you gonna want to? Are you gonna want payback? Or are you gonna want to sue me because I broke your nose and you don't have the insurance to pay for it? It depends on who you are. Most people are sue happy nowadays. Yeah. Or Back in the day, happy. I would come and knock on your door, and I'm going to ask you for two minutes. Didn't I talk about this? But you somewhere, or maybe on the show. Other people the are going either you're going to get turn into a shoot. Is either you're going to get shot yes. or you're going to get sued. Everybody's no, now all shoot. ready to go crazy yeah. at the they top shoot. of a hat. Doesn't nobody, matter which side. You can't fight nobody. No the more. girl I've watched it on the internet. <laughs> I've seen girls shooting people. Yeah, you can't fight nobody. Girls be shooting other girls. You can't fight nobody. Girls, they're in the store. A girl comes in there. Oh, you talking all that shit, bitch? And if you do fight, and you beat their ass, you got to get up out of there. A woman can come up and shoot you in the arm, and then you punch her in the face, and she'll go, "Why'd you punch me?" No, no, no. They're shooting each other. No, dead. I get you. I get you. I know what like, you mean. It's crazy. It's wild. People. That's shoot. what I was just saying. You can't. The art. The, the days of. I got a problem with you. You got a problem with I'm me. I'm gonna ask you for two minutes. Let's step we're around the corner. We can handle this shit, and then we'll shake hands. Them days is over. Now, Long gone. dudes got too much pride. You beat a dude's ass. You got to dip. Unless you don't knock him. If you knock him the fuck out, cool. But if you beat his ass, I'll be right back. Or either a, I'm going with you. Fight or flight. Where we going? What you mean? Yeah. Where you? Um, you be right back? Yeah. What are you going? I'm get? a. Fu- I'm now. You now. You gotta die on the sidewalk. Yep. I'm not letting you come back. <laughs> no. You gotta die no, now. No. What you mean you are gonna be back? <laughs> you gonna kill me? Right. Like, come back. Well, you not? No. You not coming thing, back? And that's what I said. The same people with these guns. <laughs> oh, I like have the gun on the hip. Hey, so you mean to tell me as soon as somebody has a problem with you, you think they're gonna square up with a guy with a gun? No, I'm gonna no. shoot you. Hey, you, you the gun, I mean, I know how to disarm somebody, like, but no, no, no. I'm saying the person with the gun, like people thinking it's okay, not saying it's okay, but it's cool to walk around with their fire. That's that little dick energy on though. the hip. Yeah. Like, like you don't have enough confidence in your own yeah. self. You're not, it's not that you're dangerous, but you're dangerous now when someone wants to harm you and they gotta use. You're talking about force. unregistered and all no, that stuff, right? You're talking about even registered. And registered, yeah. But whoever's you're talking deciding about, and walking around with it like I mean, a cowboy. It's their no, he's their constitutional right. right if I'm they want to walk around right with it. Bad. They can. No. I'm saying about what it draws in, the energy. Well now, I mean, well, now, well, now it's not even that. Now they're not even flash dancing is what I call when you just letting people see it on the hip. Now you know they got it because it's on Instagram. 
Yep, you're showing in the four. Th- that's the that's the world we oh, live in. Oh, you now. mean the people who? Okay, okay, just the flaunting it. All right, all right, I got you. The flaunt, but inviting right, it. You when you flaunt it, somebody with a concealed to carry, it's not the same. You didn't thing. go and buy yeah. a flashy ass gun with mad switches and shit just to you. flaunt. Even the show. concealed to carry you. guy, like I. All right, look, I. I don't if I got an I'm anime the looking gun, this, you guys really gonna look, cool. he's he's against gun law or whatever. Like, no, 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 no. If you're what, what do you I knew what you meant. That's carry, why I was right. Let me give you conceal the carry. I mean, what, somebody, are, what are you? What are you? What are you? Saying, con, what if are you, you have one, who are you saving? Well, it you can't legally kill anybody. So when you conceal the carry, someone's breaking in your car, you can shoot him in the face and stand your ground. You break in my crib, I can shoot you if I'm standing your ground. But there's a lot of situations. There's still a way. There is. Hold on. There's still a way you can go to jail just for using the shit. More than not. Do you guys still give me that look, bro? Like I'm you might get you, civil it have litigation, to be in a, but I don't it think you go to jail. Just in, it's a if body they're in your bedroom. Regardless. No. So like wait, see, look, if somebody's breaking in your house. Now you're going outside with the mind to say, okay, and now I have this concealed weapon. If something is going down, I am willing to take somebody's life. So you don't think, okay, that's a little bit of spark inside somewhere to say, not in a mad thing. It's like just to say, like he's going to piss. It's just to say, like, okay. Now it's there. Hold it's on, time up b- oh. before you finish. Hey, yo, come into the set real quick, my man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but Piss break, cameo. You no, know I'm talking about? T.Y. Go ahead, continue, brother. Yeah, like, you can legally kill somebody, bro. What you talking about? It's not, yeah, but you can legally... But he's saying that people are going. People who What's carry the have the wrong saying, mentality. They should. They're going into it, it where I'm gonna go kill somebody. Not even just going. Here's down where, not everybody though. Not everybody though. No, 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 no. Just because I'm you got saying, the banger on I you. Jumped, no, no, no. I jumped ahead. I jumped ahead. Because you got the banger on you, and I'm saying that it's now it's an option. One, he's prepared to. It's prepared. So think about it. Like, all right, when you I gotta be prepared in this in this world. No, when you carry, you're supposed to be prepared to defend yourself, not take somebody else out. Are you prepared to go to a job interview in the next ten minutes? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> you're not getting a job, boy. Uh, I'm getting a job. What are you talking about? Is, you high as shit. You're that, high. They don't know I'm high. That's how he looks on the regular. That's what, exactly. This is anyway, me. Anyway, they're going to assume, or whatever the case may be, even the smell of the stench. We got to prepare. Young. Your we, mom's favorite boyfriend and all that. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like you have to be, you have to prepare T.Y. For cameo that. is coming soon to here's your where I, Here's why I agree and I disagree. You. Just hear me out. If you break in my crib, and I have my gun next to my bed, and it's registered. And I come downstairs. You're, you're getting all the subject. fucking smoke. That's not a real gun. You're not. You're not getting what I'm saying, though. You're talking about being home, Are those runs? protecting yourself, right? At home <laughs> in your house. Open up now in the streets. I'm talking about you want to run with right me. now in the streets. My luck, I'll get a banana. I don't think I have to listen. <laughs> Pause. But that's where that's where the thing with shooting training comes into. Now, if you shooting to kill, like motherfucker, just you don't have to light somebody up. You could just you, all you have to do is. It's another thing when you, you carry. You don't gotta overkill. Supposed- if I shoot a motherfucker, I'm killing. Not to take it in any. Because they you teach you to shoot me. center mass. Right. The they right. train you to shoot in the body. Yeah. You know, they teach you to shoot center mass because it's the biggest you target. To the mic. You, you would kill me later, wouldn't you? If I shoot you in the leg, and you it depends live, on if you hit an artery. Right. It does, no, I'm saying if I shoot no, he's you saying in the leg, you live. Are you just gonna go around and retribution? Like, oh, that, that's the guy. No, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, you white motherfucker! Just, that's what, that was the most. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's just a solid call, man. But once again, you just heard me say, "Hold circle. on." But it's into my defense now. I shot him in the leg because yeah. of my self defense, and he sues me now. And you're right because I didn't kill you him. Permanently, you permanently. Now, now he could defend why he was shot. Or you changed his life. Lie. You paralyzed. Him. I paralyzed him. Yeah. I did all this and I did that. I did this because I use it to defend myself. And now, so either I defend myself and maim you, get sued, or I murder you, have on my conscience that I just killed somebody just because I feared for my the, life. The and now how many people are killing people in that situation just because they don't want the person to the sue them? The motherfuckers that, the motherfuckers that get into slight The whole Harvard, thing is wild. It's, it's a fun. corrupt situation. But if you get into a slight confrontation and that motherfucker is... Let's fight. Let's do this, this, this. And you have a gun in your hip, and you're licensed to carry it, and you feel like a threat. At that point, you really don't need to shoot. If you have a gun, if he and got you're a able gun, to leave the situation, right? Fucking leave the goddamn situation. If he got a gun, and you got a gun, down if you got a gun, doubt, run. Right. If he got a Not gun, and you got run, a gun, it's cool. Just, it's honestly just remove yourself. Like you leave. know, you can injure somebody if somebody approaches you. You don't want that to be your first option. Remove yourself from the fucking situation. But if you're standing there antagonizing, you want to use that gun, right? Like, if you're using it for protection, use it for protection. If you're using it for harm and malice... Scare tactics. Then fucking pull the goddamn right. trigger and yeah. stop being a goddamn bitch. Don't yeah. wave into my face. If Asking you're going to fucking use it, use it, use it. That's what yeah. If yeah. not, fucking exit exit stage yeah. left. That's well, ultimately what it comes down to. Saying, they always say, give me a reason. the world being Those the way people. it is, we still got to go out and prepare ourselves mentally to say, if some shit goes down, I have to take somebody's life. 
that's a, that's a, a a serious way on to go. If outside it comes to defending myself day. or my loved ones, I will gladly take some. That's life. already a nat- a natural thing. Right. Now, here's a, I'm not saying that you're not like that. I'm saying a natural thing is to already feel that. Now with this gun, it's now here. You're not gonna say if somebody was come. I'm gonna you look no gun and you never had a gun. You're gonna say. Somebody says to mom to kick his fucking ass. That that's usually the energy. I'm not going to kill somebody. Like now I have this gun. Now all the energy. And that's is the energy set, that right. People, it's yeah. transferred into that trigger. To kill. That's the precedent like, that's set now, though. Is like, yo, I'm not even going to get my ass up. I ain't trying to get my jaw broke. He ain't about to hit me in the face. I'm about to shoot him. I'm killing you. Like right. everything is just dead. dead There's no dead. more fighting. That's why I said the era of fighting somebody and then just being like, okay, yeah, we fought once. Why can't we just dead. duel like? How, your well how about being, we get like swords or your like well being is worth because defending. So you're media. allowed to defend your well being. If you whip my ass, we gotta watch it on replay for the rest of my life. Sure do. So you know what? <laughs> Somebody I, got that on YouTube. I'm, I'm, gonna, world star. I would, I'm gonna end yours. Get my so phone. like, ha ha! I got the last laugh. Like, like people can't take the yeah. pride. Like you right you, in you the just, in the nineties, you stroll down the block on your bike. You punch somebody in the face. But there was no world any, star. Right. Yeah, there was there no, were no cell phones. Right. 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 There were no defeat. cell phones. There was no social is media. Now everywhere. Mm-hmm. And you, now you got to walk in the shadows. You just had to hear about, to do, right. had to hear about somebody getting their ass whooped back in the day. That got yo, you know Lil JR? Out. Yeah, yo, he got his ass whooped. What? Now right. everybody know. You right, but now. Link, link, link. Right, right. That shit shared to your whole class. Yeah. I get it. That's like getting caught jerking off in the bathroom at school. Well, how many people. When you're, how many people, <laughs> how many <laughs> people have a, I was just going to say, it's how many happened. people have a bad story from school where they had to get out of that school to lose that identity or whatever? I've never lived in never. school. What, not saying anybody here, I'm saying how many people in the world. A lot of people. So now imagine that same scenario, but you can never, there is no reset button because of the social media and because of all the videotape and because of everything. Yeah. You never right, get you to escape sue, it. But that video is It's one of the reasons why we have on such we have somewhere. such a suicidal uh society where everybody's committing suicide because they can't take it. They're just sad. It's boys mental and breakdown. Girls. It's mental breakdown. It's sad. It's and never it's, it's never a bad thing to ask for help. You can back in the day you got somebody. rejected. Yes, back it is never day. a bad thing to ask for help. Always ask for help. There's Even, always somebody that will listen. Absolutely. Go on our uh, Facebook and ask for help. We'll talk to you. Talk absolutely. To that's America, and that's the world for you. They care more about image. what they can get from you, it's image, rather than how they can help you mentally. Like you, you can have your arm chopped off, get help. You, you can, yeah. you can get a, a paper cut, get help. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna kill myself. All right, well, sign here's this medication. And not that here's this medication. You, it's gonna take a while to get that. Uh, well, well, put your name right here. You'll be on the list, and we'll give you a call back when we're ready. I want to die tomorrow. Oh, well, put your name on the list and we'll give you... That's what they're doing for people. Yeah. I've witnessed it with people in my own... Man's talking to himself, screaming, he's bugging, lost his mind, and, and he's got to get on a waiting list to get help. Meanwhile, he has all this time on the waiting list where he's interacting with the public and could possibly do anything to inflict himself and put himself in prison, jail, die, or whatever worse, because he's not getting the help he needs. Right. Well, mm-hmm. the cracks are getting bigger and bigger every day in this country. Not only that... Especially when it comes rocks. to men and mental health. No, no, just, no, no, the cracks that people are oh, falling through. I was like, oh, that was just, <laughs> That was right to the punch. I was smoking cracks like, geez. But, but that's the whole point, too, it's though. It's still is, Reagan's fault. It's like, when you look at the, like, there's so many websites and places and numbers to call for mental health. But then there's also those low-key, like, if you look it up, like, there's, like, websites, like, to, like, it's where it's group chats. And they're, like, pretty much enticing, like, self-harm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. like, these kids go and read these blogs and, like, a Snapchat story gets brought up in them. And now, like, they can't take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like now the whole stop sending unsolicited dick pics. The whole not even, <laughs> that'll solve half the not problems even, forever. There, yeah, like not even right. dick pics. It's like kid gets bullied. She's and gonna show all her. Kid friends. gets bu- bullied. Right. Put You're in the in trash trouble. can. Now that's on Snap Story, and that's why I, I'm a firm believer in. Listen, God forbid. Like, well, I want. I would like to have children, but God forbid. God forbid. One of my kids gets bullied like I'm that. I'm fucking a kid up. <laughs> and swear to God, they commit. Or attempt to do something to harm themselves, yeah. and because they're getting teased, all y'all gotta go. <laughs> You're like a domino effect. I'm gonna wait till your ass turns 18, and I'm gonna remember, and I play for keeps. I ain't gonna sure. kill no kid. All right, so so wait, wait, time out. <laughs> on on the list of killing children. Sorry. <laughs> what? So you're in a room, right? This segue better be fucking legendary. Man. Yeah. You're in you're in a room, all right? <laughs> yeah, where, where being, is this going? You're being attacked by 10-year-olds in waves. There's no way out of this room. How long are you lasting? I'm lasting What forever. weapons are at my disposal? My hands. No weapons. They're 10-year-olds. Do they got weapons? 
I just bro, the they f- are coming in waves and they don't stop. Do they bite too? Okay, they could do anything. Nah, a ten they year old bite can and do. shit. Like nah, because I watch like them zombie movies. But and they all usually, have they're the not zombies. They're just regular, just regular children, boys and girls. Did you get nah. this idea from relative Step strength? No, relative strength. Rel- to a ten year old strength. Not not hard. Not, I could get like strength, four waves. Like, Probably if I get tired. If they start biting me, it's I'm going to start swinging the 10 year olds. I will make a yes. weapon out of their clothing. Like, I, I'm feel, last in I a, think that's a full of even, waves, even ratio I think that's a, between I think boys that's and girls. Dream, yeah. yeah. It's it's coming in like first <laughs> waves, like two of them. I think that's you're going to feel terrible dream. killing those two children. I'm not going to kill them. Then you, then you, I'm not going to kill them. It's the rules you of the have game. To. You, if not, they're going to get up and continue attacking. Do I have to? That's what this my next question. Do I have to stay yeah, there? This definitely is a real life. Or am I able to push through the crowd if I no, want to? No, you're never able to get out of this room. Never it's, able to out of the room. How many waves can you sit make? Sit there, take the waves. You're going to die. Get tired. One way yeah. or another. I'm I'm gonna die. I got three or four. I'm getting I six. Three or four waves. So like, so, like, the first wave is like two. Second one is four. Maybe it doubles. Oh, every I'm going to be there for like 50 waves. No. Six. At, if no it doubles, six. Yes. I'm going to. I could take on at least like 100 kids. <laughs> At the same time Yes Yes uh, I got my ass kicking shoes on Yes <laughs> But yeah You're in normal clothes you gotta think of it Normal Look, clothes you, No weapons nothing No nothing kids, You gotta figure that One makes out of you every Superman. ten of them Is retarded like, You get what I'm saying right? That I mean, makes you it. Superman The yeah. first one's All catching those kids Sure you get yeah. Bow Bro you kick one kid Yo that first kid. wave Got it coming <laughs> The first two kids I, I feel look, bad for I think once you kick Like 30 Like 10 waves There's no more kids Gonna come in there And like all them Dead kids Oh no they're mindless They have to come at you I'm assuming they're gonna Come at you no matter what Yeah they're like They can't think on their own They're not like Born of a mother They're like Biologically Engineered like, just know, these kids are Terminator like, babies They're yeah, no We're gonna die not immediately like, My they, Hero they, Academia see, They're listen, no like, Yeah they're, they're gonna, gonna die immediately wild They'll we're gonna die, die immediately. like They're no. just like normal children they're They don't have any special old. abilities Does it matter Elbows But they're not like Ten years old with no children, fear of being so. dying Like if you don't have Y'all fear Death or pain So like imagine if that was Like a death sentence He's saying that you're gonna die But in my my situation I'm imagining that I'm just gonna fight I'm not fighting knowing I'm gonna die I'm fighting knowing You are going to die like the holy shit! Look at all these ten year olds coming at me. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna live. I'm yeah, gonna get a broom. I'm gonna go fucking down no, There's, there's no weapon. Nothing. You're no underestimating weapons. them now, though. Ten years old. Because you're doing. That's what you I. You gotta do. hope one of those but kids. Gotta, what if one of, one of them gets your back? It's over. Listen, right. <laughs> you, you, you gotta put you yourself against the against wall. wall. Fight. Right. No it's names over. or nothing. But some of these kids I see come out of the school when I'm picking up my daughter and everything, and they're around the age of like nine, ten years old. Let one of them get your fingers. Fuck some of those kids up without even blinking. Yeah, it's easy. So I few, will, I will wipe through about sixty of those kids without even having a problem. Now, right, are the kids said, normal year, kids? So like yeah, six normal waves, ten year olds, six waves. Yeah, if they're normal. Right, every few kids. waves, it's a boss battle. It's every yeah, few <laughs> waves, it's a sixteen year old. Way <laughs> too many happy meals. <laughs> <laughs> you see the health bar come up? No. <laughs> hey, you hey yo, do you guys? Know the one, they're the only one that comes in. He's though. starting varsity. He's nah. just in there, Jack. You got to do like 12, 13, 16. <laughs> You were grown. You remember what you guys look like at that age? You still look the same. Do you know what I'm doing though? I am definitely wrapping my hands because your hands are gonna hurt. Yeah, bit. They're gonna than bite you. your fingers. No, not even. I'm I'm wrapping my hands in like my t-shirt because that's the first thing that's gonna start fucking hurting. He's going after over the punching, top style. Just after you're punching all these fucking skulls. Like, your hands are going to hurt. Have you ever punched a human skull? I already told it him. It fucking hurt. I'm elbows. Throwing, I'm throwing all knees. Fucking straight Muay Thai. You get, you get Muay Thai. <laughs> Tony Jaw. Colin, show, but show elbows, Tony Jaw. Rick Flair show chops. Elephant bones. Show my man Tony Jaw with the elephant bones. Like fucking said, people up. you take up. one kid and you beat all of them with one kid. You just grab him by the you shoulder. Can, you can hold a child as a, as a shield. No, you can take No the one here at Smash Productions condones or endorses Anyone, any beating be up of any 10-year-old. Yeah, don't beat up a child. We're no, just saying no, that terrible. if they were, if they this, came for it, we, we would bring the smoke. This is a video game That's concept. all. That's right, all we're exactly. saying. How many waves can you last? Can you last? Like zombies. They're zombies, but they don't bite. Well, they do bite because they're humans. That's what I'm saying. In the next Dead Space game, they should have you fighting teenagers. Fuck this baby shit. How many waves of paraplegics can you last? Oh, my God. We're not going there. They could roll at me all day long, man. I just do circles. You know That's what I mean? Metal. I put them in a train. You know, like you do. Unless I'm at the bottom of a hill, they're not coming at this. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> fight me on a cliff. <laughs> Let's go. You guys are going down. For I'll fight him in a gravel parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> what if after every? I didn't, I didn't say if it was arms or legs. It could be a mix of both. What it if, doesn't matter. It's what if after every fun. after ever, <laughs> no wheelchair after access. every wave you just like power up a body part? <laughs> like all right, it's time to power up these elbows. <laughs> all 
All right, all right. We can introduce upgrades. Five, eight, five, five plus HP. I'm out here, bro. Nah, I think Fuck upgrades got to be upgrade. weapons. I'm, I think after no, you get no a weapons. few weapons, you get like a bat, stick. No, not guns. I'm, I'm upgrading not guns stamina, stamina, I need stamina, agility, I need strength. Stamina. Right. But now, nah, because look, because you're, you're going in how you are kids. now, so I'm going to be winded as fuck after it's, a round. Arm, I want special moves. The area right. I need a special kids. move. Like, you're right. not going to be. Able I want to learn a you kids. Kids. Yeah, I want to. I want to learn a new fighting style. I want. I was just out here street fighting. Now this electric right. rage. Now I know judo. You're going to need like a fucking iron fist. So nunchucks or right. something. See, no, some zero, sort of no. child massacring boomerang, I imagine. Like yeah, something. Like to keep some of them away. That's too much. <laughs> nah, it give me a special move. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No yeah. weapons. No weapons. We're all going. Moves, I want a special. Like, special move. I want to do the spin rooney and jump up. Do you want a boomerang or a Kamehameha wave just, or something like that? Right, I need a special. Hope Try smash. being cannon. Right. right. Something like that. Like I said, no weapons. Right. It's just your physical abilities, right. but like upgrades like stamina or health, like health packs, like. That type of shit. Imagine living in this apartment above it all night long. All you hear is tiger knee, tiger knee. <laughs> tiger. <laughs> right. Windmill tiger kick. uppercut. Right. Windmill kick. Tiger Windmill punch. kick. Either way, that's all messed up. Like if it was a bunch of old people, a bunch of grandmothers. Okay, what about old people? Oh, don't Same get me. Started. Oh, I'm you going out old age. I'm talking about the decrepit. We're talking about, we're talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about 70 plus. Yes. Credit. What if you what if you get a mix of seventy plus and ten year olds? I'm in there all night. I am not gonna stop yeah. until the streets run red <laughs> in that Jerry. We get a weapon, blood. bro. Like you with this no weapon thing is unfair. Nobody has it. You only got two arms and you're fighting. Give the old people, people weapons. Give the old people. All right, weapons. make it like a basic weapon. Like they you just got, got a got towel. Weapons. They're tools to walk. Pipe. How they got to you? That's a weapon. Handle they got a cane. Stick. Their cane, their dentures that you they can, can throw. You can take those. In. Just give me a Phillips head. We can take oh, the so tools that are used them. against us. Yeah. All right. So as soon as the old people we can come, equip, in, you got canes. Equip their tools. Right. 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 But that's not until like wave four. So you got to survive the ten year olds until I'm the grabbing a ten year old and we're using him. Then I'm not gonna. I don't think I could like if it's one kid. We're and just then taking out a whole town at this point. And then three kids. That's easy. All right. So if it was a roof, no, I'm not saying that. Go ahead. We got we got a couple minutes. Nope. Nope. You know what it's I was at doing. the end of the episode, so sizzle really, really short people? No. Fat people. I mean, we could we could do little people or nah. we could do the <laughs> or really tall people? S- or we could do the ones on the bus. Spazzes. No. No. Spaz. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, I know what you're gonna Isn't yeah. spaz like Australian I'm- slang for <laughs> I, mean, no, I, I know a room he's talking about. Right. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you just open up that door. Oh! Fucking Tut walks in. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Bro, the strength <laughs> that they got. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's Palm strength. punch. <laughs> Call it show E Honda. Right. <laughs> Don't do E Honda like that. <laughs> Slow sh- short bus E Honda. Damn. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in that room. Right. I was soon to be babies. <laughs> yeah. Infants. He said, what room is next? You leveled up to the... No. <laughs> the fourth floor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 that stomach hurts. There's a reference that I'm not getting either, so don't feel bad yeah. at all. Yeah, G-E-R the floor is wet of blood and drool. I think they're talking about a floor where they probably saw some kid shitting in a urinal or something. <laughs> Close to it. <laughs> with his pants around his He's ankles. the boss <laughs> battle. He got the urinal with him. <laughs> he didn't unscrew it. He didn't pull it out the wall. That strength. I just picked up on the context. And I yeah. put in a piece of my... I walked in on the special kid sitting in a urinal taking a shit the one time. <laughs> we used to have a kid. Yeah, uh, yeah. He used to pull his pants down to his ankles. Right in the bathroom. They all did. What's with that? Feet. Why do special needs kids feel the need to pull them all the way <laughs> down? Sure. Because listen, here it is. What? We <laughs> never... <laughs> hold on. Stop. We're going to give it a say that? When, I was, when, you were like, when you were like so three, four good. years old, yeah. five years old, when you were in pee, <laughs> yeah. you pulled your thing all the way down. No, my ass got cold. No, wait, wait, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm just saying. I'm pretty so sure you went all the way down. So what it is is like they're still child minded or something. So like something like their mind is still stuck in like oh an age God. bracket where they have yeah, those so, actions. My fault. So I in was, the mentally you I was might using see code a man words and everything. All right. Age, do we work with that? He's not. No, we're done. Do we work we find you? That's where we have to end it. Yeah. The way to go, John. <laughs> yes, you did. You made it bad. I was going to ask them if they wanted to go to the Special Olympics with me, but now they don't want to. I go. honestly thought you were going another way with it. That's why I was like, I'm, but I'm not going to go there. I was like, <laughs> that's why I was like, whoa. 
have to be there. Like, they were talking about those buttered toast helmet wearing motherfuckers. Oh, I know what they were talking I about. Know, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> where can we find you? Uh, <laughs> you could, buttered toast. I was thinking your toast is. And, 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 uh, uh, and buttered toast. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say Gravy. one more goddamn time. Buttered bread. You can find me. Where? You can find me in a room. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You can find me on Instagram, Vice Press Groove. You can find me on Facebook, Doovy Branch. You can find me uh, here on Super Smash Productions. You can also find us on YouTube. We're on Facebook. Colin, do you have We're multivitamin gummies? Fiber gummies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Colin just back there shit in his pants. He's regular motherfucker. I feel you, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's no joke. You can find us on uh, TikTok. We're on Instagram as well. Super Smash Productions at SSP at Super Smash Productions. Go follow us. Go share. You're watching that right now. Hit that subscribe button. Bing, 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 bing. Turf from Turnbuckles podcast. New episodes coming soon. We promise. I've been trying so goddamn hard. To I know. We gotta get it. We gotta get that going. They've been beating my ass in that shit, and I've been the, the motivation has not been there. Mag. <laughs> uh, you can find me. Uh, TikTok and Instagram, Deadcrawler84, uh, Turf and Turnbuckle on Facebook. Again. Mustache coming soon. No mustache. Come Lee, on. Lee do it. don't like it. Yes, they do. We'll, put, a, we'll put a vote on one day if, 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 you, if I grow how about a mustache. Let's pull it. If you lose the league this year, if you come in last, that's your punishment since you can't do karaoke. All right. I'll grow a mustache. He's okay, cool. Karaoke. I can't do karaoke. You can't. All right. Um, yeah, go ahead. Find you? Oh, yeah. You can find me. My handles, are, uh, my demons, my angels. Spelled all the way through. You can find me that on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. It's all the same thing. My demons, my angels. You got any new music? Go ahead, plug it. This is your time. A lot of new music. Uh, I got some new music coming up. I got a video coming out with a, a guy named Timmy Price. Uh, he's the one who kind of makes all the videos, a producer for the videos. Uh, this one is uh, it's gonna be a treat. It's something a little bit different, a different type of music, and a little bit more interactive. Here Word. we go. Sounds good. Crash. Honest, we'll share it. Underscore concoctions on Instagram. That's already free. Um, solid fucking episode, gentlemen. Love you guys. I'm out. Appreciate it. Thank you.